Hey, how's it going? Uh, my name is Maximus. I'm Nicol Nicholas. And we got Willius behind us. Uh, That's Willius right there. Uh, today we are going to the best Philly. No laughing on set, please. All right, sorry. Last time I'll say that. Okay, look. Anyways, we are going to the best Philly cheesesteak in all of. Wait, no. We are going. We are going to have. We are going to have the best cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, Mr. Beast here. We're gonna have the best Philly <laughs> cheesesteak in all of Austin. Mm. I would know because I've actually been, been to Philadelphia. Oh wait, yeah. Uh, Nick here is qualified actually. So I could actually testify if this is the best Philly cheesesteak in all of Austin, Texas, because I've had the best one right. in Philly. I have the one that Obama had. That's why we, had, we, we needed like an expert. And so we scoured all of Austin for the Philly cheesesteak expert. And this guy landed on our radar somehow. Uh, that's, we found him on Craigslist, so if you're looking for a cheesesteak uh, concierge, uh, this is the guy. 20 bucks. Uh, we'll talk about that later, actually. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we, we're going to try out this food, but first we're going to do a uh, little review. i got to know what we're getting into. So Nick, if you just want to read some reviews, and I don't have a phone. The fuck? Well, what do you think about this place? Well, it's in a strip mall. It is in a strip mall. Burnett Road, so... Damn! <laughs> you, do you judge a book by its cover, bro? Yeah, most of the time, yeah. That's, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I've seen people shoot up in that alleyway before. Really? That alleyway? Wild drug uh, Nick, what do you think about this place, bro? Uh, you know, we'll see, because I've actually been to Philadelphia before. I don't yeah. know if I've said that yet. You haven't, no. Uh, but, Where so. is Philadelphia? North? Yeah. Northwest? Northeast? Northeast. Yeah. Pretty sure, yeah. Pretty sure. It's a Liberty Bell, right? What? So we'll do maybe a Balboa, a Marciano, and then what's your the third one? Oh, what are that's where they get their Philly. That's where they get their bread from. I think it's really cool, actually. Uh, first impression so far, Nick? Yeah, so I saw that's been to Philadelphia for like probably a better part of a week. Oh, you went there for uh, a week? We, yeah. Like, I thought you grew up there. No. I, I brought you on because I thought you were a uh, Philadelphia cheesesteak concierge. Yeah. No, I am. I ate so many there. Like that how many? Like one? Like three. But... Nick, uh... I'm gonna have to ask you to leave because I thought you were more qualified. What? what? If you already ordered three cheese, what are you gonna do with the well, third we'll cheese stick? We'll just steak? split the last one. Yeah, we could. Yeah. But you're gonna you're gonna be that hungry? Yeah. I mean, I am. I haven't eaten today. I, well, I haven't either because I was waiting to do that. Oh, we're also sharing. We're all gonna be yeah, taking. We're all gonna be sharing. That's, you like it? That's looking pretty authentic. Okay, you ready? It smells good. That's delicious. Mm. Wow. Mm. That, the bread is soft. Oh my gosh, I was so surprised by that. Do you judge a book by its cover, bro? <laughs> yeah, most of the time. Don't ever judge a book by its cover. Don't ever judge a book by its cover. These are all really intense close up. <laughs> so, this is a traditional Philly cheesesteak. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Stop making the sounds for him. It's <laughs> <laughs> very good. Is it authentic? Oh yeah. So Nick, what do you think of that one? It was really good. I really like it. Yeah, it's fluffy, Philly cheesesteaky. <laughs> this is my first Philly cheesesteak. Or which one is this? I have no idea. To be honest with you. Wait, wait, wait. Your first bite can't be from a. Is this the pizza one? Yeah. No, it has to be a traditional. So this is Nick's little nibble. I'm gonna go in. It just melts in your mouth, I'm not gonna lie. It's really good, dude. I, I, I like this a lot. It, the, the, the cheese is nothing crazy, honestly. It's a good good start for a Philly cheesesteak. Wait, okay? I gotta try this. I gotta try this one. 
Okay. This is a pizza cheesesteak. Nothing too crazy about this one. The bell peppers are a nice add to it, but uh, I, I enjoy that one way more, the Balboa. You like traditional. <laughs> I'm a traditionalist, what can I say? It's, it's a good cheesesteak, like, I'm not gonna lie. It's very soft and squishy, so whenever you bite into it, it just, it's just like the right ingredients to melt in your mouth. Like, this bread is, this bread is super soft, like, I don't think you'd see that, but it's just like super soft and squishy bread, which I like. I think I like it more than the original. Whoa. Yeah, really? that one's solid. Especially with a little bit of the sauce drizzled on there. I don't know if it's better, but they're like, they're both up there. Nate likes spicy food? I love spicy food. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really good. Really? Mm-hmm. I'm at the It's pretty similar to that, but like a nice, a nice kick to it. Yeah, yeah, it's very similar. It's and I just... like the peppers and onions and, and stuff. Mm -hmm. It looks, it looks delicious. It's really good. Hey, so that was our food review on Way South Philly. Was it yummy? Oh, it was yummy that tell me, man. Hell yeah. Making me rummy. I can't rhyme. All right, well look, uh, if you guys haven't yet, you guys can like and subscribe. It's for the better, the better half of this nation, if you do. That would be very, very thoughtful of you if you did that. Thank you.